Hello everyone. Welcome to the Encryption 101 presentation. In this presentation, we will talk about both encryption and decryption using RC4. Now, why is encryption important? As a security professional, more often than not, you would encounter communication which is encrypted. Uh, at the very same time, if you want to write your own tools, you might want to add encryption at times to make the communication channel very secure. So either way, both for understanding how current tools work and understanding how current technologies work, at the very same time, to implement your own technology uh, which provides a secure channel, one needs to know the fundamentals of encryption and decryption. Now given that this is a very vast subject and in most places, uh, in most schools and colleges, people have covered this to some detail, I will just concentrate upon the implementation of encryption decryption and in this particular case implementation of RC4. So let's move on. Encryption basics. So this is no, I'm not trying to put here any formal definition. This is just a very simple way of uh, putting it that encryption is a process by which information is being protected from unauthorized access or viewing. And this is accomplished by rendering that information absolutely unreadable. Now of course, it's not about just rendering it unreadable it's also about reversing that unreadable format back to the original text so that the authorized or intended entities can once again view it. So encryption is basically a two-step process. One is the encryption itself and then the decryption to get back the original text. Very broadly, encryption can be divided into two categories. One is the private or symmetric key cryptography and the other is public or asymmetric key cryptography. So in the symmetric key, the same key is used for encryption as well as decryption. And that is the secret which both the sender and the receiver holds. In the case of public key cryptography, different keys are used. These keys are mathematically related, but having just one key, it is impossible to derive. It's almost impossible to derive the other key. So with this knowledge, the person holding the private key makes his public key public and anybody can send datagrams encrypted with that to him which only he can decipher. Now quickly moving on to RC4. RC4 is an encryption technique of course and it uses a symmetric key encryption algorithm. It was invented by Ron Rivest. Uh, another thing which I would like to mention here is that RC4 is a stream cipher. What that actually means is that we generate streams of bytes one for each byte of the text we want to encrypt. RC4 is very simple in the sense that once the key stream has been generated, it is just simply zored with the plain text. We will come into all those details a little later. So normally 64 or 128 bit key sizes are used and though it is very strong cryptographically, it is very easy to implement both in software as well as hardware. Some of the most popular implementations include the WEP in 802.11 networks and even in SSL which we use for HTTPS. RC4 if you would like to divide the whole encryption process is uh, consists basically of two parts. One is the key scheduling algorithm called the KSA and the other is the PRGA or the pseudo random generation algorithm. Now let's look at a block diagram of how RC4 works. So as we can see, the secret key is what is the passphrase or the password which is used to encrypt. The RC4 block is nothing but the encryption engine which would consist of the KSA and the PRGA and output the key stream. And here comes in the plain text and the plus sign here is a ZOR. So what happens is the user inputs a plain text file and a secret key and the encryption engine generates a key stream and this key stream is zored with the plain text byte by byte to produce the encrypted text. This encrypted text is sent to the intended receiver who will decrypt it and get back the original plain text. Now breaking up the RC4 algorithm, the various steps, this is more of a programmatic representation. See in this tutorial we will not talk about 
why rc4 is so strong and you know the whole mathematics of it was first it is out of scope for such a small discussion and second is even though you should know the reason behind why rc4 is so tough to break or cryptographically strong you can still do away without knowing that and still be able to implement your own rc4 engine you just have to know the algorithm what to plug in as input and what you get as output so my approach is simple is to make you learn how to program an encryption algorithm anyway coming back so the first thing which rc4 does is initialize a byte of 256 bytes so this is basically what is called the s permutation so what happens is we take an array of 256 bytes initialize them and then we will run the key scheduling algorithm on them using the secret key provided by the user the output of the ksa is now plugged into the pseudo number generation algorithm which will generate the key stream and the key stream is zord with the data we have already seen that in